Ever wondered why your computer acts as if it had a late night party without you? Or why your macOS seems to have more mood swings than a teenager? Well, you're not alone. Many of us have been in your shoes, dealing with the unpredictability of our operating systems. But what if I told you there's another way? A way that doesn't involve wrestling with Windows or molly coddling macOS? Welcome to the world of Linux distributions. Linux, a free and open source operating system, offers a plethora of options, each tailored to different needs and preferences. Today we will be exploring three of its most popular distributions, Ubuntu, Fedora, and Linux Mint. Each of these brings something unique to the table. From Ubuntu's user-friendliness and extensive support, Fedora's innovative and cutting-edge features, to Linux Mint's simplicity and robustness. So let's dive into the world of Linux distributions where things are both familiar and refreshingly different. First off, we have Ubuntu, the people's champion of Linux distributions. Ubuntu, known for its user-friendly interface and easy installation, has become a fan favorite in the Linux world. Its software centers are a treasure trove of applications and its out-of-box compatibility allows for a seamless transition from other operating systems. Ubuntu also offers long-term support distributions ensuring users enjoy the stability and security of their systems for an extended period. This makes Ubuntu a go-to choice for many businesses and educational institutions. However, no operating system is without its drawbacks, and Ubuntu is no exception. One challenge that users often face is driver compatibility. While Ubuntu has made strides in this area, there can still be instances where a specific hardware component doesn't play well with the system. Another point of contention is Ubuntu's update cycle. While some users appreciate the regular updates, others find the frequency a bit overwhelming, especially when these updates require a system reboot. It's a double-edged sword. On one hand, you have the latest features and security patches, but on the other, you may have to deal with occasional disruptions. Ubuntu is indeed a strong contender, but let's not make up our minds just yet. There's more to explore in the world of Linux distributions. So stick around because up next we're diving into the minty fresh world of Linux Mint. Next, we have Linux Mint, the fresh breath of the Linux world. The minty freshness of this distribution is truly invigorating. It's like walking into a candy store that's all about user friendliness and no nonsense functionality. One of the key features of Linux Mint is its user friendly interface. It's like a cozy old shoe, comfortable and supportive. The out of box multimedia support is a cherry on top making Mint an alluring choice for those who want to dive right into their work or play without the fuss of installing codecs and software. But as we all know, nothing is perfect. Linux Mint is not without its share of drawbacks, the most prominent one being potential issues with proprietary software. While Mint is built on the robust shoulders of Ubuntu and Debian, there can be times when it stumbles a bit with certain proprietary software. It's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole it might work, but it's not always a snug fit. And then there's the software center. It's a bit like a well-stocked library. It's got everything you need, but sometimes it can feel a bit overwhelming. But hey, it's a small price to pay for the freedom and control that Linux Mint offers. Linux Mint is indeed refreshing, but there's one more contender to meet. Last but not least, we have Fedora, the innovator's choice. Fedora is the darling of developers, system administrators, and open source enthusiasts, and there's a good reason for that. It's at the cutting edge of technology, always pushing the envelope with the latest open source software. It's the distro where you'll see the future of Linux first. Fedora's package management system is based on DNF, or Dandified Yum, which is known for its speed and simplicity. It's a breath of fresh air for those who want to stay on top of the latest developments without getting bogged down in technicalities. But Fedora is more than just a showcase for new software. It's also a vibrant and supportive community of users and developers. When you choose Fedora, you're choosing to be part of an open source movement that values innovation and collaboration. Now, no Linux distribution is perfect, and Fedora is no exception. Its fast-paced development cycle means that it's on a short 13-month support cycle, which may not suit everyone. And while Fedora strives for complete open source purity, this philosophy can occasionally lead to compatibility issues particularly with proprietary software. But if you're the kind of person who loves to be on the bleeding edge of technology, who thrives on innovation and isn't afraid of a little troubleshooting, 
then Fedora might just be the Linux distribution for you. Fedora certainly has its unique strengths, but how does it stack up against Ubuntu and Linux Mint? So you've met Ubuntu, Linux Mint and Fedora, but which one takes the crown? Each boasts unique features, from Ubuntu's long-term support to Mint's out-of-the-box compatibility and Fedora's innovative edge. We've rated them considering package management, security and more. Ubuntu scores highest overall, but remember, it's about what suits your needs best. Remember, the best OS is the one that works for you. So are you ready to explore the Linux universe? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more tech insights.